Hey, hey, y'all! Welcome back to my channel. I'm looking rough. I'm looking rough. <laughs> I gotta go home and do my hair. I molded it, but I haven't combed it up and curled it. But it's okay. It's okay because I feel good. Da -da 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 -da. Whatever that song say. Da -da 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 -da. It's your girl L.B. Johnson. Says she back with another video. I'm back with another video. Welcome back to my channel. <sighs> yeah, so sometimes I get on this road and I be so lit. <laughs> I be so lit just listening to my music and just vibing and I be so hyped just riding. So now I've been hyped this whole ride I've been doing. And now I'm coming down. Y'all see the after effect? Of me just burning so much energy just dancing and diving to my music i'm on my coffee my iced coffee and i just been diving to my music but i got a message okay now i'm slow motion yeah i've been speeding and dancing and vibing this whole ride now i'm trying to calm down now to come this video turn this camera on i should calm down before i turn the camera on <sighs> jesus Okay, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Am I the only person that get like really high? Just be dancing and vibing. Just I'm my own vibe, y'all. Like I'm my own party. I go party by myself, and I be a whole party. Okay, like I be a whole vibe by myself. That's in the car, in the club, in the church, wherever I go. I'm gonna be my own vibe. And that's one of these moments. <laughs> But let's get to the message. Let's get to the message, y'all. Let's get to the message. Thank y'all for letting me calm down. Let me calm down. Now I'm driving extra slow and I was just driving extra fast. And if you hear some breathing in the background, y'all, that's my dog. Cause I guess she said, girl, you had me lit in here too. But um, the message is stepping in your power is going to bring your spouse into you. I seen this video yesterday of a Prashan Rock mother. She said something and it was vital and it like it hit a nerve, okay? It hit a nerve. It was just like, girl, you speaking to the choir, baby. You speaking to the church. You speaking to the girl in the back, which is me. Cause I be getting that. But you speaking to me, girl. You be you speaking to me right now. But Auntie said, she told Krishan, she said she seen Blueface do an interview. And Blueface said, things that most women do in 20 years, Krishan did in one year. Okay? Krishan did in one year. Her mama said, baby, he knew your work, but you just that, uh, needed to find your one. One. Your one. Okay? And I was like, dang, that's powerful. That's powerful. Now, I don't know if that went over some of y'all head, but it didn't go over my head. Auntie said the things that she did, that most women take 20 years, she did in a year. But he knew her work, but she just needed to find her one. So, what I got from that, and yes, and I heard it yesterday, but sometimes I get it, I hear something, and it'll just be like, play, like stuff be playing in my head, and like messages will come to my mind and all of that. So what I got from that is you got to step into your power. Like your person, your keen spouse, and people around you, they know your work. They know who you are. But they'll play with you. They'll walk all over you until you find who you are. Until you know who you are and you step into your power. Like you got to step into your power. Stop letting people walk all over you. Stop playing games with people. Know your work. Know who you are. Now... If you're anything like me, you know, like, uh, and this is not to sound cocky, but it is what it is. Uh, and I am going to toot toot my own horn. But um, if you're anything like me, you probably been the best thing that came to a lot of people's lives. And, you know, it is what it is. You probably was the best thing that came into a lot of people's lives. But you allowed the people to play with you for so long that you kind of forgot your work. You forgot who you was. So you let people keep continue to play with you. 
So they did they thing. They know, oh, okay, she gonna be right there when I come back. But you gotta let them know, nah, like you know your worth. And being that you know your worth and being that you know who you, being that you hold that one, being that you have that power within you, anybody you get with, anybody God see you is going to be a blessing to you. And I feel like stepping into your worth, and this like is about the kingdom union, it's not so much about your kingdom spouse, because I feel like stepping into your worth, you're going to find that spouse that's for you. It may not be that one who you thought your kingdom spouse was going to be. But it's going to be your spouse and it's going to be somebody good. It's not going to be like, dang, God, I ain't go with you. Nah, God, God sent you somebody that knew your worth, that respected your worth and who, who understood you and who respected you and brought you what you was worthy of, brought you what you were deserving of. Now, if your kingdom spouse is the one and they realize who you are and they come in right on time, then good for them. But if they don't, don't feel bad because God is going to send you somebody. If you want a God's chosen one, he ain't gonna let just anybody come in your life. Like I realized how many God, how many times God have protected me and have stopped me from getting the things that I wanted, whether it was a spouse or a man or a job or a car, a house or whatever it may be. And like a lot of times, um, I thought, oh God, why I can't have that? I want, it, I want, it, I want it. But it was divine protection. And I felt like a lot of times, you know, uh, for a long time, and I thank God that I'm in this place that I am now. But for a long time, I felt like, like, why are you denying me these things? And now I'm able to teach my son because my son be asking these questions at 12 years old now. But, like, God, why are you denying me these things? But God denied you because you didn't see what was going on. People only show you a facade. only show you a, a mask of who they are. People only show you a mask of who they are. Cars are only a mask of the things that they are. Like, you know, it be masked on these things that we think we want. And you didn't see that that car was going to break down 20 miles down the road. Or you didn't see that that spouse was going to be cheating on you, being on you, using you, or put, um, a drug at it, or whatever they may be in, that you didn't see. And you wonder why God didn't give you that person but or give you that thing. But it was because God was protecting you. He seen what was going on behind the scene. He seen all the things that, you know, this person that this person was doing. Or that that was going on with any of these things. He seen the problems that you couldn't see, that the naked eye couldn't see. It took more than the naked eye. So when you felt like you was being denied, it was God, it was divine protection on your life. And you walking in your power and knowing your worth and holding your one, it's going to bring in your spouse. Now, it may not be that keen of spouse that you assume it may be. It may not be that person. But... It's going to be a God divine spouse. And I understand that we we so hung up on these kingdom spouse. We feel like, well, that's, that's who God got for me. I know that's my person. God revealed to me that's my person. If it's truly your person, I've been saying this for a while now. If it's truly your person, they will come in when it's time. They will come in before it's too late. But it ain't for you to keep waiting. It ain't for you to keep holding on to and that's they lost. If they lose you, God going to provide you with somebody who's worthy of you, who's worthy of your time, who's worthy of your purpose, who deserving of your time, who's deserving of your purpose, who deserves you. Like, so step into your purpose, step into your power because you deserve it. Like, step into your power. Like, you know your worth. Step there. Step into that. Don't hide your gift. Don't hide your purpose. Don't hide who you, minimize who you are. For these people and don't keep allowing people to treat you like you just second best when you number one when you the when you the boss baby when you the best thing that ever happened to them but they got comfortable because you allowed them to see like dang i got the best thing but they waiting on me they knew you was the best thing when they first met you that's why they holding on to you if they ain't know you was the best thing they would have been one on marry somebody else they would have been on the did they own thing but they still waiting too you ain't the only one waiting, but why they waiting? Why they ain't got married to somebody else? If you wasn't deserving of that ring, if you wasn't deserving of this union, why they ain't got married or did nothing with nobody else? Huh? Because they knew who, they know who you is, but you allowed them to keep playing with you. They, you allowed them to keep playing in your face. You allowed them to keep putting you on hold. Nah, leave them right there till they find they work and they find they purpose and they understand what they supposed to do. And you go on about your business and go step into your per, um, purpose and walk into your power. And God going to send you your spouse. You ain't got to, if it's your kingdom spouse, cool. If it's not, God knew what he was doing. God knew what he was doing. 
Don't feel bad. Don't feel like you owe nobody nothing because you don't owe nobody nothing. And I wanted to cuss y'all, but I ain't gonna curse. But you don't owe nobody nothing, man. Like when I say you don't owe nobody nothing, nobody but you and your kids. Nobody and God. You don't owe these people nothing. You don't owe them no loyalty. You don't owe them no time. You don't owe them nothing. You wasn't, they didn't feel you was deserving of them coming in and giving you what you desire and what you deserve right when you needed it when you wanted it they ain't show up for you so stop showing these people loyalty show loyalty your loyalty to yourself show yourself some self-love some self-respect and walk into your power don't minimize yourself for none of these people because you powerful baby you a chosen one so that mean you you're everything baby don't let these people keep making you feel like oh well maybe no nah, maybe i'm just too much no you ain't too much of nothing you just enough for everything you just enough of everything. So walk into your power. Hold that one. Hold your head up. Like you you know who you are. You know who you are. You know how powerful you are. And they do too. That's why they ain't left you. That's why they ain't left you. That's why they still waiting too. They just want to play with you. Play with your time. Because they see you still waiting. They see you still holding on. And you feel like you being loyal to God. I promise. But maybe God. that Maybe it may just may not be what God told you. I'm sorry, I hate to say it. I hate to say it. I hate to say it because if anybody told when people tell me that, I'm just like, man, nah, I know what God told me. And I know what God told me. But God know what my heart desire. And they say God comfort those who um mourn and cry and all that. Something like that in them scriptures. I don't read them before, but I don't remember. But they say God come to those, He show up for those who cry, who long, who hurt, who grieve, who all of that. Well, if God show up for those. He'll show up. He'll show up. But you've been longing and you've been crying and you've been mourning for a long time. And he still ain't released that person to you. Maybe it's just not be that person. Maybe that's just not your person. If you know, hey, I am a wife. I am a husband. And I am deserving of this union. Well, you step into your power and you move around. Let that kingdom spot stay where they at. Until they find they, what well, they um purpose and they, they power. It may not be with you, and that's all right. That's all right. God bless you. That's I ain't never been that girl to feel like another woman won. If I got out of that thing, baby, I won every single time. I ain't never feel like another woman won against me. If she won a man, baby, you ain't won no man. You ain't won no man from me. You ain't never won no man from me. He wasn't deserving of me if he lost me. Baby, trust me, he wasn't deserving of me if he lost me. He, he was not deserving of me if he lost me. Because, baby, I'm a good thing. Baby, you a good thing. Baby, you a good thing. You a good thing. You I know you a good thing. If you stand on the king of spouse, that shows how loyal you are, how much morals you have, how valuable you are. You got boundaries. You got more you, uh, morals. You got value. So if you hold those, then you win uh, uh, um, above a lot of them. So, baby, a lot of people selling it for a whole lot of nothing. They selling for a whole lot of nothing. So, for you to know your worth enough to say, I'm going to wait on what God has for me, you know you worthy. You know you worthy. You know you worth a lot more than what these people allow. What these people bringing you. What these people willing to give you. And, hey, it ain't nothing wrong with you. It's something wrong with them to let a good thing go. So, you step into your power. You hold your one. You hold your one. Stop tiptoeing around these folks. Feel and say what you want. Do what you want. And just keep going. Walking into your power, walking into your purpose is going to bring your spouse. Now, I ain't going to say it's that kingdom spouse that you've been holding on to again. But it's going to bring that kingdom union. Because during this time that you thought you was waiting and you was preparing for this kingdom spouse, God had made you into a good thing. He made you into a good husband, good wife. And we attract what we are. So you're going to attract a good husband, a good wife. You're going to attract somebody who's worthy of you. Somebody who's deserving of you. So you walk into your power. Do not allow these folks to continue to make you feel like you ain't nothing. You something. You somebody. You something major, baby. You something big. You something powerful, baby. Walk into your power. Like, walk into your power. Like, stop minimizing yourself for these people to make these people feel comfortable. They holding on to you for this long for a reason. 
because they know what they got. They know who you are. They know what they got. They know they got a good thing. They know they got a good thing. They know they got a good thing. And that's why they ain't left you yet. That's why they ain't let you go yet. Because they got a good thing there that's holding on to them. They got a good thing. The only place that where you fail is holding on to them and not walking to your power. It ain't doing that. It delayed you a little bit, but that's okay because it elevated you. It taught you something. It made you into a better woman. It made you into a better man. It made you into that wife and that husband that you're supposed to be. Now, you could have been that wife and husband for them, but it's their law. They fall for the ball. Walking to your power. I love y'all. Have a blessed day. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload another video. I look a mess. I gotta go do my hair because I look rough. But that's okay. All right. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.